What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, I'm tapping in, guys. Another day is in the books, which means we had another chance to get in our bag and do what we do. Listen, I got a jam-packed video for you all, so please keep it locked. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Help this video get at least 1,000 likes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm jumping right off into loving on the family, guys. This one was from Javion and there was just something about this when it came through this morning that I just appreciated. He said, rough day yesterday, but made it all back in 10 minutes. Listen, guys, you need to embrace this right here. Real bosses don't cry about losses. Real bosses don't cry about losses. In this game, losses come with the territory. But one thing I love about Javion, he called me when he wins, he called me when he loses. He takes it all in stride, but keeps a positive championship mind frame about it. Anytime Wall Street get him, he's on his grind to get it back the next day. And I love it, guys. This is a daily game, a daily battle that we are going to every single day. And so you need to embrace it. You need to prepare as such. Don't come in the game willy-nilly because Wall Street ain't showing up willy-nilly. The Trick Trap and Frustrate crew was out to get you guys every day. So you have to come and trade with a game plan. Javion, if you see this, I wanna say major salute. Now check this one out. This one says, back at it. This one was from Carl. He said, hey Chris, I've had somewhat of a rough start to this year trading wise, but I remain patient and have been killing it this week. Listen guys, he's talking about the ebbing flowing of trading, the life of a real trader. You have up weeks, you have down weeks. You have sometimes you win, then you have a loss that wipe away all your, your wins, okay? It comes with the game when you're in the learning and developmental stage. So I often say, number one, give yourself some grace first and foremost. It took me two and a half years to master this game, to master my craft, okay? But number two, run your race at your pace. Do not keep up with what you see people doing online. Do not keep up with anybody to your left or to your right. I need you to show up every day and work on the things you know you need to work on. For some of you guys, it might be your entry. For some of you guys, it might be holding your losses too long and cutting your winners too short. For some of you guys, it might be overstaying your welcome or getting greedy or not using the charts. Whatever it may be, there's a variety of things and you're gonna go through on your journey in your developmental stage. I went through every one of them, which is why I can speak to them at such a high level for you guys every day in the videos. But with that being said, guys, you have to make sure you are addressing your pain points. You are addressing your challenges and your barriers to the things that's keeping you from your greatness, okay? So again, major salute. Everybody absolutely crushed it today, but I love the messages that everybody sent me on today talking about the ups and downs of this game, okay? I often say it's a beautiful game when done right. That don't mean it won't come with some with some struggle and strife from time to time okay so remember the guys embrace the grind but enjoy the climb okay with that being said guys check this out okay now today this was follow this guys this was an apple 170 call okay i got in with 150 contracts now this was an average down i think i really got in with 50 contracts and then i was averaging down in this okay so i want you to see the anatomy of how you build out a home run play okay now i told you guys i'm the guy that trades for two hours a day i'm also the guy that trades in both directions so i can catch these things but i also can see what wall street is trying to do with particular stocks i might be trading in this was this was apple my average cost was 161 this joker took off today guys this I had got out the game. It went up even higher. I think I've seen this go up to four and I was like, ah, oh, should I should have stayed in? You know what I'm saying? But it went up to like 410, maybe 420. Okay. So that was another two or three, four or five thousand dollars had I stayed in. But check this out. 141%, 870%. I saw it get up above a thousand percent on a day. Now let's listen, this happened, this happened all today. It went from sit 167 to 175 by the end of the day that's what five six seven dollar move in a day and i oftentimes try to tell you guys 
off top, these plays move at least 100 to 130 points alone. So that's a $10,000 or $20,000 day if you catch the whole move. Today was a day I caught the entire move, okay? But I already was in it on the low. Does that make sense? So I often focus on the base hit, but I often tell you guys, do not force the home run. Take the base hit, fall in love with the base hit, but let the home run come. That's what today was. It got to taken off. It broke through the 15 minute time frame. It broke through the 30 minute time frame. I was like, yep, my stop loss way, way low. So I'm just gonna leave my stop loss at 43. I had my stop loss at like 40 something, a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Something real low. It never came near. I just let it run until I said, oh, enough is enough. This is good. I'm back in the green. I'm up a couple thousand dollars. I love it, okay? Check this out, man. I often tell you guys how quick it is to, when you learn this, not only to accomplish the 100K, but to also make up for any losses that you have. Do not ever get down on yourself. If you stick with this game, guys, you're going to be able to recoup all the losses you ever had because when you learn and study and master the charts, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing that nobody can do. I only trade two hours a day, guys, but it, it might take you years to get that, but you can still do this with holding your plays for longer. You can do this for holding your plays a year out and still achieve these same type of results, okay? For me, I just have, again, got to a level that's really unseen in this game, a level of mastery that I can do this on a consistent basis, guys, without even, again, trying to shoot for it every single time because I'm a guy that loves the base hit because the base hits get you into the Hall of Fame as well. Listen, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the stocks. Check out this chart, guys. This is Tesla. It had a phenomenal day today, closing up 1.65%, $2.84, $174.60 is a closing price. But I wanna take your eyes here, guys. <clears throat> if momentum continues tomorrow, so if we have follow through, I want you guys to look for 177.50 as our next target, okay? That's to the upside. However, if the market sells off or in, pre in, in market open, or we gap down for whatever reason, then I want you guys to understand 172.35 and 170 will be your target to the downside. And if it loses 170, guys, there's a gap down there at 165 that we will go fill, okay? Listen, guys, I want you to understand when stocks move, you can change your life in either direction. What you need to do is every day though, assess at market open, assess number one, what happens in pre-market, okay? Pre-market, in my opinion, is more significant than what's happening after hours, like right now. Pre-market, they're gonna give you some clues. It don't mean, so sometimes in pre-market, if the stock is up in pre-market, it might come down when market opens, okay? If some news is coming out or something like that. Sometimes the stock is down in pre-market, it's really saying it's gonna go up. It kinda tends to sometimes do the opposite. But more important than pre-market is the bell at 9.30. When they ring the 9.30 bell, the opening bell, if you guys wait 15 to 30 minutes, you can have a clear cut vision of what they're truly trying to do. You might see your levels in pre-market get tested or you might see that they diverge away from that completely, but that's your cue to implement your trading plan based on those things. So, and for example, if this, goes up to 175 in the morning and then we have what's called a gap and go it gaps up a little bit but then goes you need to know the go target is 177.50 180 178.50 okay that's to the upside if it's a really good push and momentum to close out the week we'll hit 180 to the downside we may retrace this move but you will see all of this at 9 30 and then after the first 30 minutes of what they're trying to do. Your job, don't get caught slipping and make sure you knock it off the park. Listen guys, I hope today's lesson was helpful. We make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.